my favorite rune farm in Elden Ring. This one is uh, in the same place as the Albinorix from the last farm, the Palace Approach Ledge Road. Uh, if you want to know how to get there, you can watch my previous videos, which go more in depth. But I uh, wanted to do Vara's quest at the church, Rose Church near uh, Raya Lucaria in Lyernia. You'll be able to teleport down here and go all the way up here to Palace Approach Ledge Road. So from here, we're going to go up to this rock wall here. Now keep in mind that th there were different ways to do this before that, where you would go up there. Uh, but it has been patched since, unfortunately. Uh, so this way is a little bit tougher, but it's still possible. And you may notice it may get patched in the near future, so use it while you can. So first we go up to this little part here. Just kind of jump up. See how far up the rock face we can get to about this little ledge. So from this ledge, we're going to try to jump up onto that ledge and so forth to try to get all the way up there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take me a few tries. There we go. Let's see if we can not fall off. Good. Perfect. So the camera was a little wonky and I know it's hard to see, but you do need to jump on the ledge like that and just try to scramble your way up. And from there, we just run over the rocks. Try to find a good ledge to jump off of. Yes, we're going to jump off a ledge. You will see. We have some runes here, which I'm not going to pick up so that I have zero runes. We see exactly how many I get. I do not have the golden scarab. Oh, I do actually. There it is. Perfect. We'll put on the golden scarab to get more runes. If you have a... Oh, they turned off the ability to use the horse. Okay, so note, you can't use your horse up here if you could dismount, so bring your horse all the way up. Go back and do that. Here we go, now I've got my horse back, so you can go down there if you accidentally dismount. You will need to be on your horse. Okay, and if you have a gold pickle foul foot in addition to your golden scarab, I suggest using it now. And we're just going to run and double jump right off the edge and just keep holding the forward button or the forward on the joystick and the attack. Just keep doing this going forward and attacking. And you'll see we'll go flip through the uh, environment a little bit. That's okay. Fall through some water. No problem. Uh, what's happening here, from what I understand, I do not understand it well, is we are falling outside of the, uh, the kill box, the certain kill environment. For the, this map, we're extending our kill timer by swinging in the air like this, somehow, which allows us to stay alive while all the other NPCs are despawned from proximity, and we get the souls from it. So this does take a little while. You will see it takes about a minute and a half or so, uh, give or take, and you will get your rooms uh, when you reach close to the bottom. As soon as we hit the bottom though, we're going to want to teleport out to the nearest grace. If you uh, wait too long after getting your runes, you will die. So I suggest after you get your runes, you immediately teleport out. There we go. We're not even going to look at it yet. We're just going to teleport. It's the safest way to do it. And now that we're here, we can see we've got just over 300,000 runes. I am on another NG level. I believe it's three or four now. So you will not get as many runes on your first playthrough, but it will be about maybe 100, 150,000 runes, especially with the Golden Scarab. And Gold Pickles Foulfoot might even push it further. So uh, be sure to turn on your multiplayer group passwords for big groups like Seekers or Berserk to get your uh, bonus as well from that. And that's all I got. Be sure to farm this. Uh, it'll get you through your highest levels. It's really the best farm in the game. Nothing else will beat it. Enjoy!